Hi everyone, today we will talk about the physics behind a very interesting question, a question which you all must have at least thought about it once. To know what that question is, let us perform a simple activity. Blow air into your hand with a small opening of your mouth like this and you will feel it feels cold. Whereas if you blow air into your hand with a big opening, it feels warm. Now if you repeat the first activity, blowing air with a small opening of your mouth, but you bring your hand closer and then repeat the same thing, it feels warm. It, now it doesn't feel cold. So what's happening? What's the physics behind it? Let's learn about it. In physics, heat is defined as flow of energy from high temperature to low temperature. Let me repeat, heat is defined as flow of energy from high temperature to low temperature. So if you consider this hot coffee at 70 degree and your body which is roughly at 37 degree, so when you touch this, heat energy will flow from the hot coffee to your hand and that means you receive energy from high temperature to low temperature. When you receive energy, the atoms in your body will move now faster than before and that your brain senses as hotness. That is what you feel as hot. Whereas if you touch this body, which is an ice at zero degrees Celsius, now you can see this is higher temperature, this is lower temperature. So now when you touch the ice, heat will flow from your body to the ice. So now you lose energy, which means your atoms will now move slightly slower than before and your brain senses that as coldness. So I have now taken a digital thermometer. It shows one reading more than actual. I have done some measurements before, so I know about it. But what matters is which body is at higher temperature, right? So we will go and measure the temperature of my hand the skin temperature and the air inside my mouth temperature and the surrounding air temperature. Let's see how much it comes out. So first let's measure the temperature of my hand. So it is showing 97.0 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's mention that 97 degree Fahrenheit. Now let's measure the temperature of air in my mouth. It's 97.7 and the surrounding air temperature. It's 90.90. So you can observe that the air in the mouth has the highest temperature and the temperature of air in the surrounding basically the surrounding temperature is much smaller than these two temperatures right okay. from the measurements which we took it is very clear that the temperature of air in my mouth is at higher temperature than the skin temperature of my hand and thus when i blow air into my hand my hand will feel warm because the air which is heating it is at higher temperature and that is exactly what happens when you blow air by keeping your hand much closer. And it doesn't matter whether the opening of your mouth is small or large. In both cases, it feels warm as it should be. So now the next question is, why does the air feel cool when I blow with a small opening of my mouth and keep my hand not very close but roughly at a distance of around let's say 15 centimeters. Why does it feel cool? To understand that, just observe the activity which I will show you next. So hi guys, you can see I have suspended two balloons from the support and I am going to blow air through the middle. So as air passes through the gap between the balloons, let's see what happens to the balloons. Do they come closer or do they go farther? So I think you all are convinced they come closer, right? So when you blow air through a small opening of your mouth, the air will come out fast. 
we have already seen that in the video how aeroplanes fly isn't it it was called equation of continuity smaller the area faster the air will come out so as this hot air comes out fast it creates a low pressure area here and therefore the much cooler air will rush towards this low pressure similar to the way the two balloons came towards each other when air was made to pass between them isn't it so now i hope you all will appreciate that as this much cooler air mixes with the hot air from your mouth the resulting temperature will be much lesser than your skin temperature and therefore when this air will hit your skin the surface of your hand your hand will lose heat because now that air which is heating your hand is at lower temperature than your hand and thus that part of your hand feels cold to make my point more stronger what you can do is blow air this time through a small opening no problem if your hand at some distance no problem but you blow it through this kind of a pipe system you will feel it is warm this time and that is because since you have covered your hot air in between this pipe the cold air is unable to mix with the hot air and that's why you will not feel cold this time 